So in previous session, we, we have seen uh, how to create uh, uh, what is the uh, application security and data security roles, uh, different types of roles, and then um, those, those details, right? We have seen yesterday. So in today's session, we will see um, the demo, um, like standard roles, uh, exploring the standard roles for CX sales and creating custom role, adding functional policies and data security policies to the uh, created role. And uh, copy roles, and then we'll see uh, resource roles for auto assignment. Uh, then at the end, uh, we'll also see custom data security predicates, how we can create uh, custom predicates and uh, uh, how to use them. Okay, so now quickly go to the environment. So, so first, uh, we should have IT security manager role uh, to create role or to access this uh, security console. So that's the first step we need to uh, we need to note. Then, uh, to explore the roles, right? Uh, sales roles. You will need to go to this doc docs.oracle.com and go to security reference document. Uh, from security section for sales and service. Um, here you will, you can see the standard roles, list of standard roles where you can use uh, directly. So the roles uh, like uh, mostly contain sales are the uh, sales, CX sales roles inside sales representative role, inside sales manager role, then even partner, uh, partner related roles will come under CX sales, partner administrator, partner sales manager, partner sales representative. Then, then we have uh, sales administrator role. So this is the uh, one of the powerful role for uh, say, uh, sales module. It will have uh, all the uh, uh, job, all the setup access, then uh, full full data access for sales administrator. Sales analyst. Uh, so this is of, uh, like uh, to analyze the sales data. So mostly for that reason, this role will be used. But most common roles will be sales manager, sales representative, and sales VP, sales admin. So these are the most more more uh, mostly we will use uh, for our uh, uh, application. Okay, so now if we quickly go to sales representative role, so we can see the description here. Uh, what uh, what this role will do. So basically, it just gives the access to uh, leads, opportunities, contacts, and then uh, accounts, co accounts, contact, lead opportunities. Uh, this full life cycle, uh, lead to opportunity cycle, right? So it so this role can perform. So the related, uh, whatever the additional access that required uh, to perform this uh, uh, this process, right? So it will include all those uh, privileges in this role. Okay, so now uh, we will search this role in the application. We'll copy this. We'll go to security console. Just type here uh, that role. You can type, so it will give some suggestions. So with sales representative, uh, you can find uh, one with ORE and one with uh, without ORE. Okay. 
So so basically uh, uh, if you observe this uh, these two rows right so this is without ore without a prefix ore y you can see here uh, the uh, plus button i mean uh, adding some we can do some modifications here but uh, let me open the another another row starting with the ore so this role doesn't have uh, edit privileges or edit we can't edit now if we go to functional data security policy you can see uh, this is disabled so both are same but out of the box so it, it provides uh, for few roles it provides these kind of two different uh, roles one we can we we cannot touch and we can't we can't modify and this can be modified but for reference we can always uh, choose ore starting with ore so we can refer this role now if i go to uh, um, ore sales representative role so you can see the name and uh, role name and role port and role description right so now i'll edit this by clicking on this uh, uh, more options so here you have options to edit role copy role compare roles and simulate navigator so for now we will see edit role we'll see remaining options later edit role the first uh, tab right so first step will show the role information like role name role code role categories whether it's a predefined role or not uh, if it is checked right and uh, um, so that means this role is created by oracle with the product and the role description it also says uh, a message that we cannot modify uh, we should not modify predefined role first of all it, it doesn't allow to modify uh, predefined roles uh, if we need some um, right so we always need to copy the existing role or create a new role and what whatever privileges that we need we will add those so to go to next step you can click on the next or uh, you can click on directly here next step so this is the uh, place where we will add the functional security policies. So the example for fu functional security policies is uh, like suppose view opportunity. Okay, so view opportunity will give the uh, access to view opportunity pages. Okay, so then then you need what data, what opportunity data you need to see by this uh, data security policies. But first to view that page or the record, you need view opportunity access. And similarly for uh, uh, lead, view sales lead, something like that. View sales lead for, uh, for viewing sales lead uh, pages or buttons, et cetera. So uh, same way, if you search for update sales lead or manage sales lead, you can also search by keywords. Uh, so just now I clicked on view inherited roles. So if something is inherited by this role, right? So then those uh, privileges will also we can see from here. Example, um, right? So this is the one update sales lead, right? So this is not direct. This role, uh, this privilege is not directly added to the sales representative role. It is added um, 
by it is it is added to sales lead follow up role duty role and that role is inherited uh, inherited here we will see in the inheritance uh, role inherit uh, role hierarchy way role hierarchy step about this inherited roles then permissions group is uh, di is disabled um so we don't need to add anything in permissions group then fourth step is uh, data security policies so here basically we will uh, okay so um, since this is a standard role we we cannot add uh, a new functional security policy so we will add in the new while while creating a new role same way for uh, data security policy um suppose if you want to give uh, access to opportunity right so just search for opportunity opportunity uh, right so this is the opportunity here you can see um so it is giving the uh, a data security policy name description and uh, for which object right uh, we are giving access and what access whether it's a read or view opportunity right so this is the uh, privilege data security privilege and this is here we gave functional data security privilege and here so we we will specify uh, suppose for opportunity right we will specify that access the opportunities for opportunity table where the selected records right uh, that i am on the team i am on the team so suppose if if some user logged in if he is if if he is the team member so he will get all those records uh, data access so if he is not a team member then he will not get access to those records Oops. here it allows uh, uh, like adding policy but uh, while saving it 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 throws error that you can't modify let me try that We'll see in detail in later. Uh, let me proceed to next step where we have role hierarchy. So these are the uh, uh, sub, some sub roles we can say. Um, so all these roles we can add uh, by using this hierarchy. So subscription uh, sales view, right? So this is a small role which have some privileges related to subscription. And uh, we we are adding this role to sales representative role. Same way, uh, service request contributor or opportunity territory resource sales party management. So these are all different roles which will have some smaller smaller uh, privileges, and that we are adding to sales representative. So sales sales representative will get access to all of the privileges that are added to this. Uh, uh, duty roles or even jo other job roles to add we will we will click on this add role and then uh, we will add, uh, we will add the new role next uh, segregation of duties so uh, this is just to analyze if it if there is any conflicts uh, we can see from here and the next step is uh, users. So for this sales representative role, whatever the users are tagged, right? So those users will be listed here. If you want to uh, add uh, add a, a new user to this role, so you can add. 
this will allow to modify. So here you can add. Um, and then final step is summary. So where you can see modified changes. So we have added only one data security policy. Now we are uh, about, we haven't modified anything else. Now we are going to click on save and close. We'll see if it throws any error because it's a, okay. So, but uh, it, it is allowing, it is allowing data security policies, but this is not a best practice because there will be upgrades, right? Upgrades every, uh, uh, every three months. So this data might uh, be wiped off. So that's why uh, Oracle always recommends to not modify the predefined roles. We always need to uh, use the copy of the role. So then, um, then the next one is, uh, so from here we can just expand uh, the same privileges here. Uh, whatever the role hierarchy, right? So that uh, hierarchy we can see from here. Or if you want to expand towards users, uh, so we can see all the roles for that user or 